Okay, so uh, what I'll do is uh, I will record your current swing, okay. and then we go from there. So when I say go, and then you uh, take the swing. Okay, okay ready, go. That's, that's okay, that's okay. So this is uh, your current swing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I see here is uh, during the back swing and down swing, your whole body is rotating together yeah, yeah, and then yeah. coming back. Yeah, yeah. So you need to separate your upper body turn and lower body shift. Got it. So that will be probably the main task today. Okay. So you see, you come yeah. go back and then try to hit the yeah. ball mm -hmm. while uh, rotating the whole body at the same time. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Three quarters of the way through my swing, my head always moves back. Um, is that, do you emphasize like keeping your head straight? No, 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 no need to do that. Actually, that's not natural. Okay. But don't worry about what your head does. Okay. So as long as you have active uh, low body, then your body has to move to a certain extent. Yeah. There's no such a thing called uh, fixed point in the body during the swing. Okay. okay. Yeah, so the only thing is, um, we'll try to separate your upper body turn and lower body shift. That, that's, that will be the main use, uh, use of the step today. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So then let's do uh, stage one. Since you have practiced, yeah. so uh, you know what it is. Yeah. So keep your feet together. Yes. And then for the second step, for the second step, instead of coming back and then try to step forward, yeah. just to try to step forward. Right. Yeah, so in order to do that, what, what you need is uh, you have to push the ground with yep. the, your uh, trail leg so that your body does not really go this way and then try to come back. Okay. Instead, push the ground and then just step outward. So, like so the step will be always out, 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 instead of come in and then go out. So, sort of like upper body leads, and then you really just kind of balance. Yeah, like. yeah. So you don't let your body continuously going uh, that way, yeah. but rather by pushing the ground, you will change the direction. With that, you are taking the step. So let's let's let's, let's just uh, practice the uh, stage one. Okay. You you don't have to swing it hard. Keep your feet together. Okay. I'll remove this T so that. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Speed about right there. Yeah. That the first step is a bit too early. So wait until you finish this um, trigger motion and then take step and then bring it back. And as you, as the club goes backward, mm -hmm. about here, you have to start the second step. Okay. 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 So. Oh. And then going back, do not try to turn your leg this way, but rather keep it open. The, the toe has to point outward instead of coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, the first step is too early. So uh, again, I'll help you. First the turn, and then first the step. The step is too wide, is it? it's just a little bit. And then as you go up, take this step out, and then let it go. So when you do it continuously, it looks like this. Swing. Swing. So do it continuously. Yeah, you tend to stay here yeah. by pulling the yeah. little leg in, but rather push this leg outward so that you step outward. Yeah. That's better. That's better. Mm -hmm. And then in doing that, imagine you have someone you really hate here. Okay. Uh, I know this is not educational, okay. but I keep saying this. But uh, So every time you swing, you kill this person, OK? If you are politically uh, oriented, <laughs> it could it be a Donald Trump or it could it be uh, someone else? I know which one it is. OK, <laughs> yep. Okay. Keep, keep the feet together. Do not take uh, you know, too wide a step, okay. but rather 
it's, it's almost like a, just a stepping where you are. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to really reach out. Okay? Yeah. Yes, now the timing is a lot better. So uh, imagine you're walking. Yeah. When you walk, yeah. you just uh, trust and then let your body go. Okay? Yeah. And then you just uh, take steps instead of always reaching out like this. Yeah. Only thieves do this. Okay? <laughs> so when you have a side step, the same thing. Let your body go and then take this step instead of reaching out. Yeah. So when you bring it back and then try to uh, step, that means it's reaching out. So just push outward, push outward, and then take a you know, outward step. OK, again, stage one. So forget about what your legs are doing, yeah. what your arms are doing. Just pay attention to uh, your enemy uh, you know, outside. Okay. Okay? And then swing hard. Yes. And then when you swing hard in the downswing, lean your upper body slightly that way okay. so that maintain good uh, dynamic balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then also, uh, at the top, do not try to rush down. Okay. When you have a good rhythm, yeah. then the, everything is driven by the rhythm, right? So you good? will not be able to rush down. Is the rhythm kind of like swing? Swing, swing. Yeah, yeah. So that means uh, on the way back, wait until the, your backswing is matured, and then start the downswing. You don't have to use a lot of uh, effort in the downswing. If your backswing is uh, good, the automatically you will have active downswing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So always the key is active backswing. So the initial throw, this is called the trigger motion. Yeah. By using this trigger, you will have an active backswing. Okay. And when you have good active backswing and then wind up, yep. then active downswing is automatic. So you don't have to put a lot of effort in downswing. Rather actually try to put maybe 80% of your effort 80%. in the downswing. But uh, you remember, you put more effort in the backswing. Like 90 to 100% gear, 80% back. Active backswing and the good wind up and the mature backswing, and the simply let it go. Okay, I'm gonna okay. give just a little weight back here. So yes, yes, yes. <sighs> and then keep your gaze on the ball over your left shoulder. Okay toward the end of the back swing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what uh, you now feel is a little bit of a vertical rhythm. So uh, yeah. it's not just the horizontal motion only, yeah, but yeah. rather you have a little bit of vertical rhythm. That's the key. Yeah. When you have that rhythm developed, then you will not be able to rush. Yeah. Okay. And now your uh, upper body uh, turn and lower body shift are uh, well separated whether you uh, are aware of that or not. <laughs> so it's so natural. So do you think if you just, if you, if you practice this enough, eventually it'll become sort of... Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, already show, show a yeah, good yeah. movement pattern. Yeah. So because this is so natural, yeah. you don't have to consciously uh, practice yeah. anything. As long as you have overall a good rhythm, mm -hmm. then you will get it automatically. Because I, I feel like uh, learning golf is hard. Because maybe it's taught like the wrong way a lot of times? It is because uh, it's uh, position based. Yeah. Everybody but, reads Ben Hogan's book. They try to catch that. It's like, but uh, oftentimes they don't really get the, the key points of Ben Hogan's swing. Yeah. But I emphasize the overall flow of motion. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a very uh, dynamic motion. Yeah. So that means you have to have good acceleration, deceleration pattern, yeah. not just the positions. So that's why I'm using this uh, step drill. Like or that's dynamic motion that everybody tries to teach in picking like a slideshow. You know? <laughs> yeah. like here, here, exactly. Shallow, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. So, okay, stage one again. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And then uh, currently, uh, you, you already have it. So, uh, you know, the, the rest will be really easy. Oh, uh, today will be a short session, okay. I'm sure. Um, I'll leave it at uh, like 12 or 12 anyway. <laughs> yeah. I have to come back. Yeah. And then when you start the downswing, yeah. try to delay opening of your chest. Delay? Yeah. So instead of uh, as you start downswing, opening your chest, try to keep it more closed and then open later. Okay. I'm going to try it in slow motion. Mm. Yeah, so you, you don't have to intentionally do anything, but just, uh, just to keep, so wait, and then you have a bit more time here, right? Yeah. And as you start, start the downstream with the closed shoulder position, okay. instead of try to quickly open your chest, and then watch the ball over your left shoulder. Okay. Yeah. So that way, you will limit uh, your motion this way, because if you tend to open the body early, mm -hmm. then the arms will, uh, be pulled in with that your body moves toward the target more but when you start the downswing with a slightly closed position simply turn around and then you will be able to maintain the up, upper part of the trunk slightly leaned away from the target yes that's a lot stable now yeah that felt so your finish position is a lot more stable. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, it's time to record your stage one. Okay. It's perfect. So uh, again, remember, you are killing that person in front of you, whoever that is. Yep, so ready, go. Uh, rushed. rushed, rushed a little bit. Yeah. So have more time at, at the top. Have more time at the top, and imagine um, have Gilmore. Yeah. Last step, his body is closed, his chest is closed, and then try to hit the ball. Yep. Okay. So what happens is uh, when you try to pull the club down, you rush. Yeah. Wait until you have good wind up here and then let it go. Do you think about initiating with kind of like... like no, don't, don't, try to, don't try to turn okay. your, your body like that. Okay. But rather, if your body is closed here, and you start the downswing with the lowering of the club this way, and then you'll be able to turn around without any excessive motion. Okay. So the thing is, instead of trying to pull the club down, yeah wait until the backswing is uh, fully matured, and then let it go. So you, you, it's not really relying on the gravity, yeah. but let the gravity play a role here. Okay. Okay? Because okay. Uh, your hands are uh, applying a lot larger force than the gravity. Right. So gravity is not the uh, dominant force in this case. But however, you know, imagine that uh, you are allowing the gravity to uh, do a contribution uh, you know, at the top. So okay. keep uh, more time here, and then let it go. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the steps. When you take step, the main goal of the uh, stepping is actually to push the ground well. So instead of just uh, taking the step, yeah. Push. When the timing is slightly late and you just take a step, then okay. it goes this way. But rather, you take the step and then by kicking the ground, let it go. Okay. I think I might be able to try to translate the ground into the club, like club head speed. So in the end, what should happen is uh, even during the backswing, yeah. okay, you shift away and then push the ground with your trail leg yeah and then turn your shoulder at the same time. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you have to have that pushing action. Yeah. Push, and also in the downswing, shift, push, and then turn your shoulders. You really have to have that push, pushing action. So that would be happening quite a bit earlier than I would be used to, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has to, you have to uh, finish the step early, yeah. then you will be able to push. I mean, imagine uh, a baseball batter. Yeah. Okay. When they lifted the leg, yeah. 
then they don't really step and swing at the same time, but rather step first yeah. and then swing. Kind of yeah, the same thing. Okay. okay. So again, stage one, you have uh, this feel of uh, pushing up, pushing up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you have that yeah. vertical feel, yeah. then you cannot rush. Got it. Yes. Like that. So the timing is perfect now. So you're not rushing, you're waiting until the backswing is matured. Uh, this time you open the, your pelvis early. Okay. So at the beginning of the downswing, keep the pelvis and shoulders closed. Okay. Hmm. And also, you don't have to uh, hold the club hard. Yeah. You, your arm is uh, stiff now. Okay. But uh, relax a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So what matters is uh, you should be able to uh, stretch your left arm at impact. Okay. Yeah. When you hold it tight, yeah. then you have to uh, waste a lot of energy there. But you let it go. Okay. Let it go, and then free your wrist okay. more. Yes. So but now I can see that you have this uh, feel of a vertical yeah. rhythm. Yeah. That's uh, really important. Throwing the club and the throwing the club. Yeah. And then uh, when, you, when you throw, make sure you use your pelvis. Throw, throw this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 instead of your arms. Yes. Okay. So that will give you good rhythm. When you use your uh, pelvis actively, that doesn't mean that you turn like this, yeah. but rather when you have active interaction with the ground, then the pelvis motion reflects that. Okay? Yeah. So um, moving your pelvis is really important. Yes. And then always uh, try to keep your body more closed at the beginning of the downswing. Okay, so, uh, ready, go. So this is what you just did. Yeah. And then, this is just a moment ago. Now, this is your initial swing. <laughs> it already looks so much yeah. better. You can it's see so that. Much smoother. You can see that your body rotates together and then yeah. try to hit yeah, with it, your, your efforts, right? It looks a lot more efficient. Here. Yeah, now if you look at the flow here. Yeah, it looks freaking pretty. Yeah, you're not fighting anything. No. You just it's let your body like, and then feel the rhythm, like, like a riding a tide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up and down. Yeah. Before I was like. Yeah. Ugh. It looks good. And then uh, in this one, initial swing, your hand go, stops about here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then try to pull it down, right? right? Yep. But now the hand goes a bit higher. Way back, it's almost And the club head, is right? almost the horizontal here. I didn't even feel that. Yeah. That's good. So that looks good. in stage one, if uh, everything is in place, then the, the rest should be pretty straightforward okay. because we'll only try to eliminate the steps. Okay. Okay. So in stage two, Stage two will eliminate the first step, on, uh, only take the second step. So you will start with a bit narrow stance, yep. narrower than your normal stance, okay? okay. So keep a room for uh, this uh, toward step. The rhythm should be the same, uh, no, no step away. So just the throw and then bring it back without taking the step, but only take the second step and then let it go. Yeah. Yes, yes. So the rhythm should be the same. Mm -hmm. so yes, although you are not uh, really taking a step for the first one, still you have to push and then remember that rhythm. Uh, take the second step a bit earlier. So you have to have actually good push with the trail, trail foot. 
so that using that you can take the step. Yeah. Yeah, your stage one was uh, really good, so uh, you know the rest should be pretty, uh, uh, pretty easy. Yes. So you're maintaining the rhythm. So all we are trying to do is just eliminate the steps. Mm -hmm. And then wait a bit more. Wait. Wait does not mean pause. Yeah, yeah. But you give more time and then have a more wind up, okay. mature the wind up instead of quickly stopping it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let it go. Yes. So don't rush down. Yeah. This, uh, this is a, a trend in the modern golf swing. Yeah. You try to pull it down with your arms, right. but actually uh, that's against the, you know, the, the rhythmic motion. I watch all the old guys, and it all seems like so much is happening here with their legs, mm. and their arms are really just kind of... So they, for they don't really fight. No, it, it looks so effortless. You know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we are going backward. So we will uh, try to uh, um, restore a traditional swing. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still you tend to uh, open the body early. So this time what I'll, what I'll uh, do is I will, stay, I will stay here, try to throw the club toward me. Okay, so instead of pulling this way, yeah, 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 this way. Mm. So in order to swing, effort, uh, intentionally swing the club this way, you have to keep your body more closed at the beginning and then coming this way. But actually, even if you feel like you are throwing the club this way, yeah. generally it will be rather aligned toward the target. Yeah. So I'm trying to prevent uh, pulling the club inward too much. Okay. 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 So whenever you try to pull inward, this is actually because you open your chest early. Yeah. And with that, you lower your, your arms and hands, and definitely it will go this way. Okay. So sometimes, uh, you know, just the yeah. image that uh, you are throwing the club this way, slightly you know, outward, yeah. then you will be able to keep your chest more closed at the beginning of the downstream. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. When you have a good vertical rhythm, then you, yeah. you will have less horizontal motion. Okay. So, um, so what the left leg does is, as it lands, it has to push the ground and then push your left uh, hip up. Yep. So instead of moving your body yep. a lot, you have to have a good position with the yep. upper body a bit uh, leaning backward. And then uh, in uh, stage three, we'll be able to see how much you are moving this way. Because yeah. in stage three, we're not going to uh, take any step. So, um, yeah. but keep uh, working on uh, stage two. And then again, good wind up in the back swing. Mm -hmm. And they have more time up there. So do not rush, just to feel the tight up and down. Yeah. yeah. And only pay attention to uh, active backswing, good wind up here. You don't have to wind up a lot. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is uh, have just a continuous wind up and then from the close the position, shift and then let it go. Maybe I'll try one at kind of like three quarter speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what you can do is you can intentionally do it really slow yeah. or really fast yeah. and then change the speed. But one thing you have to keep in mind is make everything continuous, yeah. motion continuous. Yeah. So even if when you do it really slow, yeah. slow trigger motion, slow backswing, but connect everything continuously so that your body can feel the rhythm. And then you are reversing the direction of motion. Yeah. by using the backswing as a counter movement. Got it. Okay, I think I should do that. So let's do it uh, really slowly. Intentionally slowly, but uh, make motion overall continuous. Yep. Yeah. 
And then uh, in the downswing, yeah. you tend to lift your arm high up here, yeah. but more around. Yeah. So keep your arms close to your body and then go this way here and then stop here. So when, when your arm is relatively lower and then swing this way, your body will turn because of this, your body cannot move this way too much. But I think uh, you know, your, your motion pattern has improved quite a bit yeah. now. Yeah. So as you uh, practice, you will be able to find the best combination. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you know, today uh, the main goal is to uh, uh, reprogram mm -hmm. your swing pattern yeah. so that you can use the whole body with a good uh, separated upper body turn and lower body shift. OK, so. Like, uh, there is, um I feel like when I swing, when I get really vertical from up here, mm. I hit slice. You, yeah, here, because uh, when you try to lift the arm up, then you have arm-driven, uh, you know, the swing. Yeah. So you are using your arms. But uh, again, what happens is uh, the whole thing is driven by pushing the ground with the leg. When you push the ground, then naturally the shoulder will turn. With this, you are so keep keep the hands in front of your body, okay? And then when you push the ground with your upper, uh, uh, keep, keep pushing the ground with the, your right leg, mm -hmm. the right hip will move up. With that, you will naturally be able to uh, turn your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Your arm does not have to go high up here. Yep. So a lot of uh, motion of the arm is yep. actually coming from the pelvis motion yeah. and the shoulder turn. Yep. So instead of uh, lifting the arm up here, you just have a good wind up, yeah, okay. good, good shoulder turn. And then naturally you have your arms about here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I emphasize the body driven uh, swing, yeah. even during the back swing. When you have active, uh, you know, up, up, up uh, feel, yeah. instead of lifting the arm up, rather by turning and pushing the ground hard, so that your weight-bearing hip is actually moving up. Mm -hmm. And with that, you have a good uh, shoulder turn. Yes. Okay. And then yeah. at that position, it's OK to feel slightly uh, you are in the reverse C uh, position. That's OK. Yeah. Now, it is considered, uh, considered as a taboo. But um, yeah. actually, when you feel slightly uh, reverse C uh, uh, you know, shape, that's OK. Like this? It's a too much leaning this way, yeah. but uh, so when you when you move continuously, then you will not be able to do that. Uh -huh. But you have a reasonable control. So this is kind of a counterweight for what's going on. Yeah, here. always when the arms and club are moving fast, then you have to have a counter motion. Yeah. So, uh, but it's not completely symmetric motion like this, but rather your shift motion is leading the turn motion. Yep. Yeah, shift motion is leading your turn motion. So. Um, Okay. okay. So make sure uh, during the swing you use your legs actively and then pelvis turns and the shoulder turns. Okay. So without a lot of uh, arm action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I try to throw the club slightly this way. Okay. I think this will be good enough. When you try to uh, throw, try to throw the club intentionally this way slightly without lifting the arm, but rather just uh, keeping the shoulder closed a bit more at the beginning. Okay. Yes, that's a good uh, swing. Okay. So when you start feeling using your body here, yeah. the muscles here, yeah by keeping it uh, closed a little bit at the beginning, and then throw. Once you feel that, then that's it. <laughs> you don't have to uh, intentionally work on those. So remember, do not open your chest early. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, now I will record your stage two. So ready, go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you can still uh, keep your body closed more. Closed more. But, um, so this is initial swing. <laughs> Still looks so much better than that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even think that looked bad the first time I saw it, but now I, can, now I don't even want to look at it anymore. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to look at it's the like, initial oh, swing. <laughs> That's typically what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and body closed more. That one looks good. Yeah, this is stage one. Now stage two. I want you to uh, go uh, more in the back swing. Yeah. Do not rush it down. Yeah. So almost like um, imagine you try to hit somebody really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You keep your body closed. You don't open your body uh, early when you try to hit somebody really hard. Yeah. In the end, you know. Hitting the, the ball really hard, yeah. that comes from uh, this closed position here. Okay. And then turn around instead of opening the chest early. So use these muscles here. So from this closed position, try to swing with these muscles instead of using your arms. When you open your, your chest early, then you tend to use your arms. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is uh, uh, basically uh, coming from active backswing. Yeah. Active right, backswing. Yeah. So that's why uh, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting uh, this active backswing, body-driven backswing. Mm -hmm. When you do backswing right, then downswing is just automatic. Yeah. But if your backswing is not enough, your body knows it, then you have to use your arms and try to open the chest early yeah. or slide the pelvis you know, toward the target. So you have different things. But when your body is ready with a good active backswing, then just let it go. So the motion pattern becomes really simple. Yeah, so if you look at um, the down the line view here. Yeah. You see, overall it's, it's becoming really uh, uh, dynamic. Yeah. The whole motion is connected, backswing, downswing. It looks a lot more athletic than it did. Yeah. Yeah. Because you start using muscles here. Uh, blister. blister here. Okay, now let's do uh, stage three. So yeah. assume your normal stance. Yeah. And then no step but maintain the overall uh, swing rhythm. So keep the trigger motion and then uh, just, just a no, no step. Mm -hmm. Wait a bit more, wait a bit more at, uh, at the top. So give more time for the, for the uh, downswing, uh, the back swing. Yes, so when you have more time here, then it will allow your body to prepare and then let it go. It's kind of, kind of too fast. Yes, I like that timing. Okay. So have a bit more time up there. Like but that doesn't mean that you're posing, yep. but rather you're having more time and your lower body is actually preparing for uh, the downswing. So just actually, so it seems like by just waiting a little bit more, I can kind of fix two problems. Yes, you cannot yeah, shift yeah. this way too much. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, during the mature backswing, your body prepares, yeah. and then that's it. From there, you can swing so that you don't have to sway uh, this, this way too much. Up, okay. Yep. Try to maintain that same timing. Hmm. Step and then keep the shoulders closed, okay. hips uh, closed at the beginning of the downswing. So what happens if you, this sh shoulder comes forward early, then you're opening. Yeah. But rather from here, try to just uh, drop the right shoulder. 
Okay, and then let it go instead of keeping the moving the right shoulder in front of your body. Drop the right shoulder. Yep. Keep it more closed, throwing the club this way. So practice that. So on the way down, on the way down, so you go back swing here. On the way down, instead of opening this and then try to uh, keep the right, uh, right arm flexed like this, but rather here, lower the arms. Okay. And then turn around. That's interesting. So that way, you don't have to use uh, these muscles a lot. Yeah. Rather, you're using these muscles here. Okay. You will really feel that uh, you are yeah. using these muscles, big muscles here. And then, so when you have a good push here, yeah. instead of just to try to come down, push and then and let it go. So sometimes uh, making sound like this is yeah. uh, you know useful. So we're uh, whoop, mm, let it go, yeah. whoop, mm, let it go. So you, are, you, are, you keep uh, brainstorming yourself, brainwashing yourself that uh, your backswing should be mmm, and then should have good wind up. Yes. And then put more effort in the backswing, yeah. and downswing you don't have to really swing hard, because uh, when you have a good turn here, and then you have a good uh, body motion, automatically your downswing will be fast enough. So. Uh, Mm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then you'll be able to kick the ground with your left leg. Because you have enough, enough time, you have a mature backswing there, so you don't, you don't rush. That, yeah. but with that, you can push the ground with your lead leg and then uh, turn around. Mm. Yes. And then with that, you will feel more and more that you are using these muscles. Yeah, here. yeah. I can feel it actually. Like, like. The hip muscles are, uh, feel a tension. You, you have uh, tension in the hip muscles. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's record your stage three. Okay, ready, go. So you're, you're, you're using your body more now. Yeah. Yeah. Stage two. It, this is a bit rushing here yeah. on the way down. Yep. But uh, you see, stage one here. Because the first step, you have yeah. more time here. Mm -hmm. But uh, in stage two, by eliminating the first step, you have uh, rushing, the tendency yep. of rushing. Yep, yep. So I should practice stage one the most, maybe? Yeah, so uh, initially practice stage one a lot. Yeah. And then when you get uh, more natural, then you can uh, you know, use a stage two instead, yeah. and then eventually stage three. Okay. Before the actual uh, swing, you just use a stage three as your pre-shot routine. Yeah. Okay? Okay. But um, if you have any doubt in your rhythm, then yeah. go back to stage one. Stage one. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. With uh, these three stages, with these three stages, basically what we developed is um, separation of your upper body turn and uh, lower body shift mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Uh, you still have still more. You still have more room uh, to yeah, improve. But um, to so this uh, this means that you have major departure from your initial swing. Yeah. That's uh, that's the positive side. Awesome. Now, 
But the question is then, how do we take advantage of this rhythm in your normal swing? Yeah. So without the trigger motion. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. okay, and then let's do a, your uh, normal swing. Okay. So, yeah, normal stance, and then here, all you need to remember is you have active backswing, but yeah. mm, action, yeah. okay? Have a good uh, wind up, yeah. a mature backswing, and then let it go. But uh, try to do a backswing actively okay. using your body. And then when you, when you do that, uh, in order to have a really active uh, body-driven backswing, yeah. you have to have initial shift and then turn around the right hip. Shift and then turn around and then let it go. Instead of just um, yeah. going pelvis like this, you have to really load onto uh, the right side. So uh, let me hold the club here. Yeah. Uh, just leave it. And then put your, uh, keep your arms in front of your body, lean forward. From there, try to really put your uh, weight on the right side. And then try to tap, 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 tap with the, your left foot. Yeah, that's a real uh, weight shift here. Wow. Okay. okay, but if you just move your pelvis here, yeah. then it's hard to do that. Yeah. You have to really put more, more, more weight on the right side here. Okay. That way, and then with this, when you push the ground, then you will be able to take the second step naturally. Yep. So during the, the rhythmic motion, yeah. you have to really put your effort, uh, that, the, the pelvis is moving a lot. So try to, uh, instead of uh, pelvis moving this way, so lean forward, lean forward, try to put your left shoulder in front of your right shoulder. Like that. Okay, like this. Yep. This is better. Instead of shifting your pelvis okay. that way. Again, fold your arms, fold your arms, and try to move your left hip and the left shoulder in front of the right hip and shoulder. Yes. That's actually good uh, posture. So then, although you will feel uh, reverse C position, but uh, you're not really, yeah. the pelvis is not really uh, moving away too much. Yeah, that's uh, a lot better. Okay. And then, that doesn't have to be that jerky motion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Not like this, but uh, uh, remember, I told you they make everything continuous. Yeah. So here, by using the body, and then make it continuous. Yes. So when you make this a continuous, then you will also be able to have continuous Bouncing motion here. Yes. So, here, go up here, and then slightly moving this way, and then turn around. Yeah, so as if, as if there is a wall here, yeah. and you are pushing this wall with your shoulders, and then turn around. This way you will be able to hold the chest to turn Okay. Maybe so that uh, you don't open your chest too early. So again, so when so during the back swing, yeah. you have a good uh, shift away. With this, with this uh, slightly recentering, yeah. coming back to the initial position and then turn around. So it's not it's not really reaching yeah. this out this way, but rather you shift away and the recenter and then turn around. Yeah. Mm. And then make sure you don't. Lift your uh, upper trunk, so maintain the shoulder, uh, the, maintain the spine axis, and then turn, and then let it go. So it looks like this. So always when you start the when you start the downswing, yeah. you have initial recentering motion, and then turn around. So when you have a good uh, mature backswing, this will allow you to uh, recenter and then let it go. Yeah, and you'll be able to stand on this side like this. Yeah, this is how you move your body. Okay, so it's not arm yeah. motion, but rather your body has to guide the arm motion. Okay. But uh, for that, so uh, during the backswing, Shift a little bit, and then turn around the right, and then have a recentering motion while while the backswing is going on, and then let it go. Yeah. But uh, generally, I think uh, all you need to remember is yeah. have an active backswing, but yeah. there shouldn't be jerky motion, yeah. rather continuous motion into the downswing, okay. 
and then you have your enemy here, yeah. uh, someone you need to you want to kill. Yeah. Only you remember those two things: active back swing, and then let it go. Okay. Yes. So make the motion continuous. Okay. No jerky back swing, but still it's a body driven back swing. But make it continuous into down swing. Yes. And then you can speed up now a little bit more. So make it faster, but again, continuous motion instead of jerky motion. And then in doing that, if you, were, if you introduce a little bit of a trigger motion with your yeah. body, yeah. perhaps something like this, and then going yeah, yeah. back, that may help. Yeah. So do not start the back swing yeah. from stable yeah, yeah, yeah. setup position. Rather, you have to break yeah. this stability and then start the back swing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kind of helps me imagine that my clubs like really heavy. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is now you are swinging the club with your body, yeah. that's a huge, yeah, yeah. Uh, hugely different from uh, your initial swing. Can that's you what. If that weighs like ten pounds. <laughs> so you have you are using your body yeah. to uh, let the arms go. Yes. So I will record this. Uh, ready, go. So you will see now, so this is your current swing, now if you go back to your initial swing, <laughs> it so much how did I hit the ball with that before? Still you hit the, the ball really hard, Yeah. You know, yeah you still hit because you hard. have played the golf uh, yeah. quite, a while, uh, quite a long, so, so you can still hit the ball with a lot of effort. Yeah. But now, once you see this motion that uh, you are doing now, just there's no way to go back to uh, your. I initial. hope so. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. I want to try one. How is the best way to practice it? Is it like fast and then on the course? <laughs> fast and yeah. continuous. Fast and continuous. What you have to remember is a continuous motion, yeah. no jerky motion. Yeah. When I uh, ask you to feel the up, yeah, yeah, up feel here. Up, up, that doesn't mean yeah, yeah. just jerky motion, yeah, yeah. rather up. So yeah. uh, make the sound again. Mm, let it go. Mm, let it go. Yep. But uh, this will give you a continuous motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Active but continuous backswing motion. And then uh, connected to the downswing. That's the key. Yeah. So then, in order to have a good uh, you know, back swing, yeah. imagine here you're making this trigger motion. Yeah, yeah. So, or you can count the number. One, two, three. Yeah. So when you yeah. count the number and you know that you're starting the back swing at three, mm -hmm. then because you already know when is the beginning of the back swing, your body prepares for that. Yeah. So always, always have a more active motion and then you don't just stand still here and then try to the back swing, but rather you, your body can move slightly and then create this uh, smooth and natural back swing motion. Yes. Um, one question was when it, the trigger motion. Mm. Um, should it be more that way or that way or is it? No, just to th try to throw it uh, toward the target. Okay, toward yeah. the target. Yeah. Fast. And then, so when you try, to, when you have a quick motion, yeah. do it with the initial shift. Okay. So okay. intentionally try to shift away more. Okay. Then that uh, fast motion can, becomes uh, more natural. But is, instead, if you just try to uh, bring it high up, then you're only spinning around. Okay. okay. Yes. So when you have a shift and then coming back, so shift and recenter and then let it go. Yes, then the whole rhythm is uh, dictated by 
shift to motion and the recentering motion. So don't try to uh, you know, have a jerky motion, but rather, <coughs> yep, and they keep it closed more. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, already your, your swing is a lot more active. So, um, okay, ready, go. Yeah, you'll be able to see that, that the initial motion, how you are starting the back swing. Yep. You have uh, shifted this way and yep. then coming back. <laughs> Again, you don't want to see this, but uh, we have to go <laughs> back to your initial swing. It's, Look at this. It's amazing. It's all forced uh, it's, uh, arm driven. It's so tight and yeah. like. Yeah. Um, does this, would you swing all the clubs the same way? Like, Once you have uh, this rhythm in place, yeah. your iron swing will also follow this okay. rhythm. Okay. And what happens is, um, I've seen that uh, usually driving distance increases by about 30 yards, Lovely. and then the iron distance also increases by uh, over 10 yards. Awesome. So I, I saw a lot of people, uh, you know, taking advantage of uh, like a four club shorter, yeah. you know, swing wow. in the second uh, wow. shot. But keep practicing the, the rhythm, and then, so one thing, uh, this is a more long, long term uh, process, but um, you tend to keep the arm and club fairly aligned like this, yeah, yeah. but keep a little bit uh, angle okay. here. Okay. So practice, let's practice that. So this, uh, let's tr uh, practice uh, the horizontal swing. So okay. keep your body upright, okay. and then you try to swing uh, the club in the horizontal direction. Yeah. So when you have uh, a little bit angle here, then it'll be easier to uh, keep the club horizontal. And all you need to do is a turn here, and then keep a little bit wrist cock okay. here. This is all you need. And then on the way down, also keep the arm fairly low here, okay. and then swing through, swing through. Okay. You, you, don't, you don't have to put that uh, right shoulder that high. Okay. Just, uh, just uh, let it go, just uh, let it go. So currently, you keep these uh, more or less aligned here. So on the way down, you also tend to uh, swing and then move it high up. But if you keep a bit lower and then swing, keep the, the club uh, relatively uh, horizontal and uh, swing in this position, it's easy to turn around. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yep. So your arm is not going that high up, right? Yeah. And then incline your upper body to uh, your normal stance. And then feel that still the same thing, a little bit angle here, and then keep it a bit lower uh, at the shoulder level. And uh, still uh, use the rhythm. So, uh, yeah. and then have more time up there. Mm -hmm. And then kick the left leg uh, when you do the downswing. Go here and then kick the left leg and then try to swing. So you can, you, you can practice uh, this angle a little bit. Yeah. And then on the way down, how close you keep your arms to your body. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that your elbow is stuck here, but rather elbow has to come in front of your body. But uh, if you uh, keep your arms relatively close to your body, mm -hmm and then you will have a, a lot easier um, follow through uh, posture. So it's here instead of... Hmm. Yeah. So what happens is when you keep it this way, yeah. then as you go up, this will, the shoulder has to go high up, and then it causes some issues in the uh, shoulder girdle motion. Yeah. But when you keep this angle here, and they go this way, the posture wise is easier. Okay. And even in the downswing and follow through. And then you can also use your, your wrist motion. Wrist, wrist is important in terms of speed. So when you have uh, this motion here, you can also use your wrist a bit more. Yeah. So, so you have more room for uh, yeah. speed when you start using your wrist more. Okay. 
but currently, uh, as I see, you're yeah, yes, right. too uh, steep like this. Is but that about, is that better? So you know, hold it as if you are, you are shaking hands with the salmon, like this. So hold the color. Yeah, and then lower it. And you can move the hands a bit forward, but uh, yeah, that's a that's a lot more uh, more natural uh, position here. And then try to uh, bring the club a bit lower than uh, you typically do. Yeah, because your arm is uh, lower here, so it's easier to turn that way. But if the arm is here, yes. So overall, it will make make the motion easier. Okay. You practice that. And then let's do a uh, stage one with with that. Okay. Stage one. Mm -hmm. Stage two. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Stage three. Yeah. And then it becomes a lot easier for your arms. And also it'll be easier, for, uh, easier to do uh, the direction control. Okay. I'll practice that. Mm. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. So it becomes a lot easier. Yeah. But when you have this position here, yeah. because the shoulder position is kind of awkward, yeah. you have to a lot, put a lot of effort in the upper body. But when you lower this and then keep, it, keep the arms a bit closer to your body, then it's a lot easier to turn, turn around. So that's something you have to, uh, you have, you have to uh, experiment. Yeah. But uh, overall, the rhythm has improved quite a bit. Yeah. Now you are now using these muscles. Yeah. So uh, that's a positive side of today's uh, session. Yeah. And then you can certainly uh, experiment your grip. Okay. You, you are not using really a strong grip, so that's okay. Yeah. okay. The only thing is you tend to lift it yeah, up yeah. and then try to keep it straight, but yep. uh, lower it a little bit. Okay. And then when, with this angle, and on the way down, when you swing, yeah. the wrist will uh, basically support the yeah. club, but the club does not drop too much. So when your arm is uh, fully straight, uh, straightened here, but still your wrist will support the club, so let it go. Yeah, yeah. so, okay, let's try uh, again, uh, stage one, two, three, and uh, your normal swing. Okay. Feel the rhythm. Again, you don't have to swing hard, but uh, put more effort in the back swing, okay? okay. So when I say go, then you just continuously do a stage one, two, three, and then you're normal swing, okay? Ready, go. Okay, stage two. Stage three. And then regular swing without the trigger motion. Yep. So let's see how overall the, the rhythm flows. It all feels pretty good. So the stage one. Stage two. Mm -hmm. Stage three, mm -hmm. yes. So you're not shifting this way too much. And then you're no more swing. So now you have this rhythm. <laughs> Yeah. Again, I have to uh, <laughs> bring up your bad memory. <laughs> it's just so different. It's crazy. Yeah. That's amazing. So what I'll do is I'll post these to uh, Instagram. Sweet. So you can watch. And I will also um, uh, put uh, this recorded video yeah. to uh, YouTube. Okay, awesome. And then if, if it's okay for you uh, to put... Here. I got some super glue. <laughs> 